Mate, so first weekend back after a long break, you got second in the first one, and like you were kissed that time because uh, Sharpie had a problem, and you, you, you've got to be in it to win it. You know, we called, I called it. That, oh, I don't think it'll change up front, and then lo and behold, 20 metres out, Sharpie succumbs to whatever it could be—an engine problem—and you were sitting pretty. Yeah, there's no no doubt it was a bit of a fluke to uh, win that one. There was no way we were going to get around Sharpie. We were, we were, I tried my best at, at the start, but I'd sort of see, I'd. Uh, settled for the coming second so uh, coming around the corner and seeing him stop there was uh, was definitely a, a surprise and um, yeah we just, uh, I thought I was going to run into him there for a second but managed to get past him and get across the line. Mate uh, the crews nowadays you've got your, your crew manager there Malcolm if you want to give him a better name you can but uh, he's on a two-way radio so when when uh, Tim stopped when Sharpie pulled up there he was on the radio saying look out yeah, he was. He was, uh, watch out, watch out. Um, yeah, just uh, the fact that uh, I tried coming up the inside and uh, Luke had turned in. So um, it was close. Uh, we were, I was uh, trying to trying to get some um, length again back on uh, on Stillwell. He was um, definitely catching on me. Uh, I sort of relaxed a little bit and settled for second. So he had uh, definitely gained on me. So I was standing on it. I was diving up the inside. So yeah, it was it was a close call. But no, it's all good. And we're still running. We're running strong. Malcolm and the boys have been working our ass off all weekend. And it's a shame for Luke, he's a New Zealand number one Formula One champion. Uh, we spoke earlier on that it was unusual to not see him at the front end. When he started that race and he shot to the inside of you going up into turn one, I thought, yeah, he's back. And it was good to see a true champion up there, but they're all motors, mate. You can't rely on them all the time. Oh, that's right. I mean, you can have a good run one weekend and the next can be just shocking. So, uh, you know, we looked at run well today. It was nothing to say tomorrow that we're going to have the same luck. But uh, we'll be, be doing our maintenance tonight to make sure we can stay on the water and we don't have to end up the same uh, same drama. So you pack the units up tonight getting to tomorrow or you, you're still heading for your Formula One? Uh, Formula One in the morning straight up and then we'll uh, put the unlimited gear on and we'll run the, the King of the Lake at the end. Uh, we're, not, we're not in the mass port. Oh, well, don't forget if you get tired, mate. Steve and I are looking for a drive. We'll give you a break. Yeah, mate. No worries at all. <laughs> Thanks. Anthony Robinson took out uh, heat two of the uh, the big one.